Proton Pass tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Proton Pass and we're going to be reviewing it. We're going to be giving you a little bit of walkthrough, some features, pros and cons, and I'm also be comparing it with some other password manager tools out there. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, Proton Pass is Proton's tool or one of software's that you know enables you to store your passwords and i have used this in the past i've used a bunch of other password protectors out there it's a very convenient tool to have if you have different passwords so for example like you can store credit cards notes your identity cards your passwords all over here and one of the cool thing about them is that sometimes of course when we come up with passwords we come up with numbers or words or phrases that we use in our day-to-day -day life and that are sometimes common right so password hackers they would you know typically predict that easily that's what they use but because of proton pass it can store like up to 25 35 40 character long passwords which are random letters which are random special characters and everything so even if someone tries to plug that password within a let's say randomizer that you know some hackers or people use in order to break passwords it would still take them approximately a million plus years just to get the combination right so you won't have to worry about that so in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up proton pass on your computer and i'm also going to comparing it with some other ones as well that i think are better or if not the same so let's get into it now if you don't have an account you can create one for free by clicking on the create button over here and it'll take you over here where you select one of the plans now i'm going to be continuing with the free plan and then we can come down over here and just simply create a new account since i already have an account you can see right here it's telling me that i'm already logged in so i'm going to go ahead and log in and show you how it looks like and once you do that it's going to tell you to go ahead and get proton pass for your chrome so basically install the extension so we're going to click on the button it's going to take us to the extension store and and we're just simply going to click on add to chrome so once it's installed we should be good to go so i'm going to come back over here it'll automatically detect it that it's installed then we can log in and we should be good to go all right so here you can see password manager done dust it to install we can pin it so click on the extension settings and just pin it right here you can see i already have a bit more than as well so i'm going to compare it with that one as well and we click on the extension and we click on sign in with proton it'll load the account we just put in our password like this this was and then we click on sign this one was bitwarden and proton pass works similar this little thing that you just saw this is one of the convenient ways where we can sign in in different uh, websites different accounts because password managers will automatically detect that and it'll automatically fill that password in you can choose from a variety of list of variety of accounts which one you want and you can go ahead and just input it without even having to go ahead and opening up your password manager selecting it from there you know it's a whole lot of process but once it's done we should be good to go so we're done click on done connect your proton account with your proton password and very similarly again we're gonna do this i thought i already did it yeah it's over here and basically telling us to import the passwords but we don't really need to so what i'll actually do is if we click over here click on select this is how it looks like so right now this is the password manager so if i come back over here into the account section and go into click on sign in account because we already did that it's going to load up the account it's going to take us to pass.proton.me again we just fill out the password and we should be good to go we can move on right now i don't want to save it but there you go that little tutorial that little pop-up that you saw that will come up onto any website that you try to log in so for example let's say i log in into one of my google accounts right right here i'll click on this the google profile click on add account and it should recognize some accounts so like this one i'm going to log into this one and after adding the password we'll click on next it'll give us the power it'll usually give us there we go this little pop-up it will indicate that we want to save the password so we just simply click on add password password is now saved click on continue right and we can always select one of the keys this is a save key option that's fine we're going to save it on to the other one I'm basically giving a little this is kind of like a comparison between bitwarden and proton pass since i use both as well no thanks and there we go so cancel that skip that and boom we are locked in and we can see we now have another account right here it'll also detect which website you're on and it'll also give you that account login details right here so there you go pretty cool right it's so easy to use now when it comes to other ones let me first give you a little bit of break 
down on it and show you how much it would cost so if we click on upgrade also this is the overview right here on the left hand side you can create vaults or folders if you want to call them within them you can sort them out via work personal items or whatever folder you want and you can insert all of the passwords within them accordingly to those folders and then you can just simply click on them you can choose which one you want and there you go down below you've got your lock proton pass where you can lock your proton pass basically it's long out and you also have a pass monitor which will you know keep an eye out on your password see whether or not they've been compromised leaked or stuff like that so which is a pretty cool thing to have a lot of password managers have that nowadays so really cool also you can use this on the mobile app one of the cool things about proton pass that i like is the pop-up that usually comes up on two different websites right it's also available on the phone most password managers do not have that like for example bitwarden is very cool very easy to use very similar to proton pass i'm using it right now what i've noticed when i'm on my phone the pop-ups won't pop up i would have to manually go into the application log in copy the password and then paste them in the website that i'm trying to log in with proton pass i didn't have the problem i would just click on it the pop-up would come up on the keyboard i could just go ahead and insert the password choose whichever account i want boom it was easy with proton it's easy it's incredible it's it's safe as well i'm just trying to work out going across one of them seeing which one is best For right now i feel like proton is one of the best ones out there and it's simply because of all the features that it provides for free right which is incredible and another one is one password now one password is not free but I, but you can use it for free but i would not suggest it it's cheap compared to other password managers out there but i would highly recommend you go ahead and purchase one of the accounts because you know some of the features that it has it's worth it so for example if we come over here this is their password management system right what is one pass and these are the resources let me go into the pricing and here we'll see the features so here you can see password manager we just want password manager not the extended account and for the individual you can see right here generate passwords auto save and auto fill credential this is one of the key features that proton pass has for free so you won't have to worry about this and you can see right here it costs 3.99 uh, almost four dollars and you can share items securely with anyone you can use on all of your devices another key feature proton pass has for free you can use it on all devices for free and also you can see right here get alerts for weak password or compromised conditions another feature that is free on proton pass so this is what i was talking about all of these features bitwarden has them proton has them one password has them even LastPass. bitwarden has them even LastPass has them but the key difference is proton pass provides them for free right you can see right here it does cost a penny it's a little bit cheaper than well actually it's in euro so it's the same price as one password you can see right here unlimited devices unlimited logins unlimited hide my emails and all of those you can have 50 vaults so you can have 50 you know folders where you can save your password you have vaults sharing up to 10 people dark web monitor and proton sentinel and integrated two-factor authenticator so usually you would have a third-party authenticator like like google authenticator or authenticate but this one will have it for free but you can see you can use it almost all devices i personally use it on my computer and on my phone so i don't really need multiple different options that's why the free plan works for me but yeah if you have like multiple devices let's say four to five different computers then you would need to use it also when you log in into some other device like a computer or a phone one of the other will log you out from the proton pass so you would have to log in it again but another one is LastPass. i've used LastPass as well very similar to proton pass and one password the key difference is that instead of like, comparing it with one password you can see the auto save and autofill credentials right this one is available on LastPass, but if you're on your phone it'll only work for a limited number of time i think it's like 14 or 15 i'm not sure but after that you gotta go ahead and purchase the plan so yeah because of all of this that's why i would recommend going with proton pass it's cheap you can use it for free and all the features are available on it for free so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye